Welcome back. This is Eagle News, Washington, D.C. In Hawaii, the Iglesia Ni Cristo kicks off its celebrations for the church's 50 years in the United States. Joji Carnade with a story. Band together, the countdown to the 50th yet begins is the latest event for the Iglesia Ni Cristo Church of Christ in Hawaii and Blaisdell Arena would become the largest venue ever used by the church in this part of the world. Church member Francis Caholi is also an experienced security officer, but even for him, the experience of providing order and security in a very large venue felt overwhelming but rewarding. Uh, this venue is the largest venue that we have rented for any kind of occasion that uh, we are making that we would be having a, a worldwide uh, kind of viewing for the whole world to see and to view the brethren in, in the far west, especially in Hawaii. Church members invited their friends and family members to this free event to experience the celebration as well as to know more about this global church. Some dignitaries also attended, including a state senator who took the time to update Eagle News on the latest developments in various projects throughout Hawaii. Well, this nice gentleman, Manny Salas, invited me. He's, uh, he's pastors out at uh, Waipahu, and that's my district. On a sunny Sunday afternoon, church members from all major islands of Hawaii arrived in Oahu to experience this grand occasion, which consisted of mostly live musical and literary presentations composed by church members. Musical numbers ranged from a drum solo from the Big Island to a full band complete with backup singers from the island of Maui. There was also some inspirational poetry, color guard presentation, and some tender moments like this piano rendition by one of the church officials. members also took part in the action with a number of their own. Wives and daughters of church ministers meanwhile paid tribute to brother Felix Y. Manalo whom they believe was God's last messenger who became instrumental in registering the church in the Philippines. And there was another tribute for brother Eduardo V. Manalo, the church's current executive minister by means of a more modern style of singing. The concert also served as a platform for the premiere of the church's TV program, Tagarito Kami, which roughly translates to, We Are From Here. This episode featured the island of Oahu, along with all of the church congregations there. Officers and members described this occasion as the official kick-off for the worldwide countdown towards the 50th anniversary of the church outside of the Philippines, and they are already looking forward to work with other congregations outside Hawaii, to prepare for even bigger event in July 2018. So every every locale has been has been gearing up for the anniversary, which is next year, and this is the start of it. The Iglesia Ni Cristo Church of Christ began its overseas mission in Hawaii on July 27, 1968, when the executive minister back then, Brother Eranio G. Manalo, presided over the very first worship service outside the Philippines in a sugar plantation town called Eva Beach. Since then, this global church has reached more than 130 countries and territories across six continents. Reporting from Honolulu, Hawaii, this is Joji Karnate for Eagle News, am one with 25. Thank you, Joji. Stay tuned to Eagle News for more on this anniversary celebration. That is today's Eagle News, Washington, D.C. Join us again next week as we bring news that matters to you. Visit our website at eaglenews.ph and like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash eaglenewsph. I am Eliza Gonzalez in Manglikmont, always one with 25. Happy weekend.